Uh, I don't have a script. So... I might be all over the place, which is fine. Um, one thing that I really love about my life right now is that right now I have the most free slash leisure time that I've ever had before. Um, you know, I'm not going to school because I'm a dropout. And I am working, but I'm working part-time, which is nice. I'm glad that I have that privilege of not having to work 40, 50 hours a week. It's not necessary for me. Um, and it's nice that I get to rest, at least for right now, that I get to rest and that I get to work on art, work on the things that I want to work on, that I get to spend time with friends and my girlfriend and with family. But I've been thinking of work a lot, and not just work, but the way time is spent in today's society. And by society, I mainly mean America because I live in America. And I don't really know how other societies around the world work. Maybe they work similar, maybe they're completely different, but mainly what I know is America. And here in America, it's, it's all work. It's literally all work. It's all just, you gotta go pedal to the metal all the fucking way. You know, you gotta be working a shitload you gotta be going to school for four years I just I look at all these people around me who work a lot and who go to school and it makes me sad because they have almost no free time they have no free time to properly take care of their bodies or to hang out with friends, or to hang out with loved ones, or to discover themselves. Or maybe they have enough time for like one of those things, but only if it's, they only have enough time for one of those things if they're sacrificing all the other. So maybe I'll see someone who, you know, goes to work and probably goes to school as well. And on top of that, he's taking care of himself really well but because all of those things are taking up so much of his time you know they're not able to have a proper social life they're not able to have a moment to relax and think to discover who they are or what they want or where they're going or to think about you know, uh, changes they want to make, things like that, and I don't. I I think one of the most important things is to have time. To have time to not necessarily just relax and lounge around. I mean, that's important too. I think that's extremely important. And, you know, people might, if I were to say that out loud in a room full of 100 people, I feel like most of them would probably look at me and think of me as someone who's lazy or some shit. Or someone who's, like, a waste of time in society. Anyways, besides having time to rest and lounge around, having time to yourself, I think it's important just to have time to... To just do nothing. To do nothing and be bored. To not necessarily go anywhere. But why, like, when you go out there into the world, when you go to work, when you go to school, or when you watch movies, or when you go shopping, there's, everywhere you look, you just get this feeling that you're not allowed 
to rest and that you're not even necessarily allowed to enjoy yourself. At least that's how I feel sometimes where it's like you're not allowed to enjoy yourself because you have to you have to keep moving, you have to keep changing, you have to keep growing, expanding. And I'm not saying that you shouldn't change as a person and I'm not saying you shouldn't better yourself and I'm not saying you shouldn't try to become a better person or to better your circumstances. I'm not saying that at all. What I'm saying is is that it's as if you're not allowed to have a single moment where you can rest or where you can think things out or where you can just be. I think that's the point that I'm trying to make. There's almost no time for you to just be, to just exist. And there's this sort of feeling that comes with that where you feel as if you're never enough because you have to keep going because you just have to keep changing you have to keep working you have to keep making more money you have to keep uh, I don't know finding new ways to look better to do things better you just have to be better all the time and you can't stop from becoming better It's like you're just not allowed to just be, to just exist. You have to constantly, it's like you have to constantly prove to the world that you deserve to exist. But you don't need any particular job, or you don't need to look a certain way, or you don't need to do anything to actually deserve to exist. If you're born into this world, you already are born with that gift that you deserve to live that's something that you're born with everyone who's alive is everyone who has ever been alive deserves to be alive and I hate that you here at least in America again it's as if you have to just prove yourself to be alive when in reality, none of us asked to be alive, which is like the funny part. No, none of us asked to be born. And now that we're forced to be born, it's as if we have to constantly prove to the world, you know, to our managers, to our bosses, to all these people, quote unquote, superiors, that we deserve to be alive and we deserve to eat and have a roof over our head and I don't know wouldn't it be nice to just have some time to do nothing to just be why is it that we constantly have to prove ourselves in reality we'll always deserve to be alive And we should all strive to live in a society or to change our current society in a way where it doesn't revolve around us constantly trying to prove to the world that we deserve to be alive. We should live in a society, in a world where we feel that we deserve to be alive and we can just be. I don't know. I don't know if I explained it properly, but fuck it you know (laughs)